Introduction to Internet Internet Basics The Internet is the communication superhighway connecting computers all over the world, just like the interstate highway connecting different cities of India. Today, millions of people with computers have access to the information superhighway known as Internet. Accessing the Internet primarily means connecting to the World Wide Web, a part of the Internet linked by special documents known as Hypertext Document. Hypertext Document are created using Hypertext Markup Language HTML a set of codes that tag text so browsers know how to display the document on screen. HTML provides a common language to connect documents created on PC, Macintosh, Unix and other platforms. The connections are called hyperlinks or links. Browser software is a software that interprets HTML code. It allows users to visit different web pages of a website or different websites by clicking hyperlinks. A website is a group of electronic pages known as web pages containing hyperlinks, text graphics, audio, and video. Currently, the two most popular browser softwares are Microsoft Internet Explorer and Mozilla Firefox. You must have an access to the Internet through an Internet Service Provider, ISP, before a browser can work. When you type the Universal Resource Locator URL or address of a website, the browser software takes you to the home page of the website. Home page is the main informational page of a website. For example, the URL of the website of Pustak Mahal, the publishers of Rapidex Computer Course, is http www.pustakmahal.com. The URL instructs the server computer to go to the computer where this address is located, retrieve that computer's home page, and send it back to your computer. Surfing a website. Surfing a website basically means visiting a website. Suppose you want to visit the website of NDTV, the URL of which is www.ndtv.com. To visit the website, you should be connected to the internet and launch a browser software. You will surf the NDTV website using the browser software Internet Explorer. Click the Internet Explorer icon in the taskbar to launch Internet Explorer. Your screen will look similar to the screen shown here. Click at the end of the text in the address bar to select the text. This automatically selects the whole text in the address bar. Press the backspace or delete key to clear the previous URL. Type www.ndtv.com in the address bar. Press enter. Homepage of the NDTV website is displayed on the screen. 
you can click on any of the hyperlink in the web page to go to that particular website. You can identify a hyperlink when on taking your mouse cursor over it, the shape of the mouse cursor changes to hand icon and the text gets underlined. Searching for information In the World Wide Web, information on thousands of subjects is available. Finding information is as easy as keying a word or phrase in a search engine and then allowing the computer to do the work. Search engines are databases owned by organizations that gather data about information at websites and index them topic-wise. When you key the topic into the search engine, it looks through its databases for all occurrences of the data and displays the appropriate links. Some of the most popular search engines are Google, Yahoo and so on. Suppose you want to look for information about the seven wonders. Let's see how you can search for seven wonders in the search engine Google. Select the text in the address bar. Press backspace or delete key. Type www.google.com Press Enter. The home page of google.com is displayed on your computer monitor. Type 7 wonders in the text field. Click Google Search. The search results are displayed on your computer screen in less than a second. You can click any of these hyperlinks to go to that particular web page and find the relevant information. Creating an email account Composing and sending an electronic mail, email message to the electronic equivalent of writing a letter addressing the envelope and putting it in the mailbox for delivery. To send and receive email messages, you need an email ID. There are various websites like Hotmail, Yahoo, Gmail, India Times, Rediff Mail, etc. that give you free email IDs. Suppose you are Rajat Mehra, born in 1983. You are a member of a library whose library card number is DL171081. Let's see how you can create an email ID in Gmail and then send an email using this email ID. To create the email ID, you first need to go to the website of gmail.com. Select the existing URL in the address bar. Press backspace or delete key. Type www.gmail.com in the address bar. Press enter. The home page of gmail.com opens on your computer screen. Click Sign Up for Gmail to create a new email account. Type Rajat in the first name text field. Press Tab key to jump to the last name. Type Mehra in last name. Type Rajat Mehra 1983 as desired login name. Click Check Availability to see if this login name is available or is already taken up by someone else. The login name is available. Scroll down a little. Type White House in Choose a Password Text field. 
Instead of the text that you type in this field, you see asterisk mark. This is done for security reasons, so that someone else may not see your password when you type it in the computer. When you want to access your email in the future, you will need to type this password to be able to access this email ID. Retype the password in the next edit box. Scroll down some more. Click the drop down button in security question list box. Click the question, what is your library card number? If you forget the password of your email ID at a later date, you will not be able to access your email account. To access your email account, you will be asked the security question that you have chosen at the time when you signed up for the account. In this case, it will be, what is your library card number? If your answer to the security question is right, you will be given a fresh password, using which you can access your email account. Type DL171081 as your answer. Type ENSPE GUI in the word verification edit box. Scroll down some more. Click the button I accept create my account. Your account has been successfully created. Click the hyperlink I am ready show me my account to navigate your email account. You have been navigated straight to the inbox of your email account. The inbox stores all the emails that you receive. Currently, it has just one email message, which is from the Gmail team. It is strongly recommended to sign out from your email account before you leave the computer, so that no one else can misuse your email account. For doing so, click the sign out hyperlink at the top right corner. You have successfully signed out. Sending emails. For sending an email, the first step is to sign in into your email account. For doing so, first enter your username in the username edit box. In our case, the username is Rajat Mehra 1983. Now, press the tab key to jump to the password edit box. Type password, which in our case is White House. Click sign in. You shall be navigated to your inbox. For writing an email, click the hyperlink Compose Mail. In the edit box too, type the email address of your friend to whom you want to send the email. Type Gaurav Sharma 1975 at yahoo.co.in. Click the edit box subject and type party on Sunday in it. Click in the message window. Now type the text. Hi Gaurav, are you coming for the party on Sunday? Do let me know. Regards, Rajat. Click the send button. The message, your message has been sent, confirms that the email has been sent to Gaurav Sharma 1975 at yahoo.co.in. You can also send files as attachments along with the email. Suppose you want to send a Word document named file that you have saved in the C drive of your computer. For doing so, before sending the mail, click Attach a file. This is the Choose File dialog box. Click Computer. Click C drive. Click Open. 
the contents of C drive are displayed on the computer screen. Click File. Click Open. The Word document has been attached to your email. Now click the Send button. Your message has been sent along with the attachment. Microsoft Outlook Introduction to MS Outlook 2007 Microsoft Outlook is a desktop information management application that provides tools to send and receive emails, maintain contact lists, to-do lists, and so on. Generally, when you join a company, the EDP department creates an Outlook account for you. Sending and receiving emails in Outlook is very much similar to that in Gmail, Yahoo, and other email accounts. For accessing Microsoft Outlook, click the Start button first. Click All Programs. Click Microsoft Office. Click Microsoft Outlook 2007. You are navigated straight to the inbox of your Outlook account. Information in Outlook is stored in various folders. By default, the folders appearing in Outlook are Deleted Items, Drafts, Inbox, Junk Email, Outbox, RSS Feeds, and Sent Items. All emails received by you are stored in the Inbox folder. If you compose and send an email, when not connected to the internet, it is stored in the Outbox folder. When you connect to the internet and click the Send Receive button, email stored in the Outbox folder will be sent to the recipient. A copy of the sent email is saved in the Send Items folder. When you delete an email, the deleted email is stored in the Deleted Items folder. When you compose and save an email, it is saved in the Drafts folder. Sending Emails For composing an email, click the New button. Type Gaurav Sharma 1975 at yahoo.co.in in the To Edit box. Type Party on Sunday in the Subject Edit box. Click the Message window. Now type the text Hi Gaurav, are you coming for the party on Sunday? Do let me know. Regards, Rajat. If your message is urgent, click the High Importance icon denoted by the red exclamation mark. When your friend will receive this mail, he will have the red exclamation mark before the message in his inbox. To attach a file, click the Attach File icon denoted by the paper clip. This is the Insert File dialog box. Click File. Click Insert. The file has been attached to the message. Now click the Send button. If you are connected to the internet, your message will be sent to your friend right away. Otherwise, it will stay in your outbox until you connect to the internet. This brings us to the end of the topic internet.